This is the story of a corporate which has perfected the art of paper making with state-of-the-art machinery. Sophisticated online process controls. State-of-the-art quality control system. And a local name to a global leader. TNPL, a government of Tamil Nadu enterprise. TNPL is built on the understanding that the environment must be protected for the benefit of succeeding generations who have as much right to the natural resources as we have today. Which is why it has founded and developed its business on the mantra of sustainable development. Being a very environmentally compliant paper mill, TNPL redefined the technology of manufacturing paper and newsprint using bagas, a sugarcane residue. This has prevented the denudation of 40,000 acres of forest every year. And sprawling over 800 acres, the company is the largest commercially successful bagas-based paper plant at a single location in the world. The company has two of the fastest new generation paper machines in the Indian industry. Paper Machine 1 with capacity 1,15,000 tons per annum and Paper Machine 2 at 1,30,000 tons per annum. Together they can produce over 750 tons of paper and newsprint a day. Quality is a way of life here. A reinforced quality control team constantly checks paper samples for quality consistency. Customer focused research by qualified professionals has developed innovation driven products well accepted by Indian and global market. Today TNPL is a market leader in premier printing paper, high end computer and business stationery etc with a turnover of 1,000 crore rupees, that is, about 250 million US dollars. The company enjoys a countrywide market share and exports as much as 20% of its production for a presence in over 25 countries. An export of 50,000 tons per annum makes it the country's largest exporter of printing and writing paper earning a foreign exchange of more than 2,000 million rupees per annum. The company has made a technology leap by switching over to elemental chlorine-free ECF bleaching, becoming further environmentally compliant, implementing a mill on the mill expansion plan at a capital outlay of 1,000 crore rupees, that is about 250 million US dollars installation of a new paper machine with state-of-the-art features will increase capacity from 2,45,000 tons per annum to 4 lakh tons per annum by 2010. The strength of the company is its self-sufficiency in power generation with an in-house capacity of 81 megawatts. 8 to 9 megawatts of this is exported to the state's grid. It has also ventured into green energy steadily right from 1993, reaching out to 35.5 megawatts capacity, exporting surplus power to the state grid. TNPL has always been innovative in making use of wastes to economic value products. The biomethanation plant set up during 2003-2004 has generated 237.3 lakh cubic meters methane gas from the bagasse wastewater, replacing 13,500 kiloliters of furnace oil and earning 25 crore rupees so far. In 2003, TNPL extended its foray into plantation activities by implementing two effective schemes. The farm forestry, where TNPL motivates farmers to cultivate pulpwood trees, 
is expected to give the farmer an earning of 12,000 rupees per acre per annum. In captive plantations, TNPL cultivates and shares the revenue or gives lease rentals to the landowner. The target is to reach 100,000 acres by the year 2012 at the rate of 15,000 acres per annum. TNPL is the first to establish a separate biotechnology and bioenergy research division. The objective is to develop pulpwood through plant tissue culture and energy from waste and wastewater. The facility can produce nearly 0.5 million tissue culture seedlings to be used as mother plants. Another feather in TNPL's cap is the Clonal Propagation and Research Center, CPRC, the largest of its kind in India. The research center produces 15 million clonal plants every year, adapting an integrated propagation approach of using both micro tissue culture and macro clonal propagation techniques. TNPL entered into the carbon trading system by registering the first Clean Development Mechanism CDM project under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. It now runs two registered CDM projects, namely Biomethanation and Wind Farm. It has received 1,60,000 Certified Emission Reduction CER, equivalent to as many tons of carbon dioxide reduction so far. A reduction equivalent of 60,000 CER per annum is expected further. Four projects identified such as energy efficiency improvements through recovery boiler and super batch digesters are expected to reduce carbon dioxide emission substantially. In furthering concept of converting waste into wealth, TNPL proposes installation of a 400 tons per day cement plant beside the factory campus for converting the mill generated wastes like lime sludge and fly ash into high quality cement. TNPL's high quality standards in its products, environment management, have been endorsed by numerous certifications and awards. ISO 9001-2000 and ISO 14001 certification. Paper Mill of the Year 2001-2002. Green Rating, Three Leaves, recognizing the Environment Management System. Permission to use Panda logo in TNPL branded products. Dr. M.S. Swaminathan Award for Environment Protection 2002. Mother Teresa Award for the Best Corporate Citizen. National Award for Excellence in Corporate Governance 2003-2004 Special Export Award from CapExo for nine consecutive years The Energy Resource Institute Terry Environment Award 2008 TNPL has undertaken numerous employee welfare measures to make a qualitative difference in their lives like a modern township spread over 200 acres housing 700 employees. Recreational facilities for indoor and outdoor games. A modern sports complex, one of the best facilities in the state of Tamil Nadu. A higher secondary school for 2,200 students with all modern facilities, churning out several school toppers at the district level. These facilities today serve the people of the neighboring villages too. The organization has been very innovative in treating effluent water through activated sludge process. 1,700 acres of land is irrigated using the treated water from the factory under TNPL Effluent Water Lift Irrigation Society Tulis Irrigation Scheme through financial support provided of over 10 crore rupees. This has transformed the dry barren lands surrounding the mill into green pastures, uplifting the economic stature of the farmers multifold. TNPL 
is built on the foundation of human values. Even before the phrase corporate social responsibility gained significance, it was textured into the company's value systems. As a value-based, caring corporate citizen, welfare-driven initiatives for the overall betterment of its employees and the villages abutting the factory are drawn up. TNPL spends around 2 crore rupees every year for developing facilities for the community around, such as financial assistance to meritorious children belonging to weaker sections of the society, improvement of infrastructure in nearby government schools and colleges, awards of 1 lakh rupees each to the top performer in the 10th and 12th standard in the district, promotion of sports, recreation and cultural activities, medical assistance through medical camps and distribution of free medicines in neighboring villages, basic amenities such as toilets for women, development of roads, drinking water to neighboring villages through participation in construction of water tanks, pipeline systems, etc. Financial assistance to trauma care center in the neighboring village. Training in typewriting, computers, tailoring, apparel training and various employment skills to youth and women in the neighborhood. For community development activities in and around the factory. While carrying forward the corporate philosophy of customer satisfaction and quality, TNPL strives to protect the environment for the generations to come, to make a qualitative difference in the life of the dependent people. This has propelled it towards a far-reaching tomorrow where everyone can share resources and live close to nature. TNPL, protecting environment, building enterprise.